Crafty friends. It's Teresa from Fresh and Renewed with Teresa. I am coming to you today with some Christmas in July projects. I want to uh, let you know that I am participating as a sponsor in the Build Your Stash of Holiday Cards um, Linky Party. Um, it is going on today, the 22nd through the 29th. And you can link up your projects, and there's lots of awesome people and sponsoring and lots of awesome prizes. I will, in my video tomorrow, instead of doing a blog post this year, I am going to do a video every single day of the party and show you some Christmas inspiration. So today, I have... Um, a little project that I'm going to do with you. I made some of these cards yesterday, and so today I'm going to go ahead and make the rest. Um, I did not get a chance to use Crystal, and this is the Facebook group. I'll have all the links down below that you need to have to participate, to view the Facebook group and everything. But my friend Crystal Minkler runs this Facebook group. And this was last month's sketch, and I did not have the chance to use last month's sketch because I ordered some 12 by 12 blue papers from um, scrapbook.com. I was on there. I needed to order something from there, and I ordered some blue papers because I have all these blue tags, that, but I didn't have any paper that would go with them. So I ordered blue paper, and so I have created these tags, these cards. Um, so the first one is has this um, tag called Dashing Through the Snow, and I just tucked the ribbon behind the tag. I didn't, I didn't want to leave it dangling or anything, and I had these little blue pearls in my stash, perfect. And so there was two of those. And then there was, oh, I forgot to stamp this one. And then there was, um, I had one snowman man left. I've, I have used this before. I may get a smaller sentiment to, to go up here than the one I used on the other. And then I had some Santas in this blue. These tags are beautiful. I grab these tags because they're very inexpensive, usually right before Christmas or right after Christmas, if they have any left, um, they're gift tags on the back that they don't say to and from, but on the back you can, you know, write on them, but they're gift tags. And I get them at my local big lots and they make the perfect focal point on a card. So, um, and then I use this stamp Peace and Joy to go up here for my sentiment. And those three are the same. So, um, so I'm going to move those to the side. And what I want to do is, um, and I will put a picture of the sketch right here because I didn't have the sketch printed out. This is a strip that's left over from the paper I used yesterday, so I'm going to use that Yes, when I made those cards. And I have four tags left, so I'm going to make these, these, um, these four. So I'm going to make four cards. So I want to show you what I did to kind of alter the sketch. The sketch called for a four by... by um, four and a quarter by five and a half background, which covers the whole card front, card base front. And, but I didn't want that. And then it called for your, your, your pattern paper on top of your mat to be four by five and a quarter. So because I didn't want my whole card base show showing and I wanted that little piece of, um, white showing, I am making this piece three and three quarters by five. Three and three quarters by five. And I'm just going to 
um, one sheet of 12 by 12 paper makes more than four cards, but I'm just going to make four cards here and do this pretty quick. And then um, when I... All right, so there's my four pieces. And then I want my bottom piece down, my, my, the bottom piece. I want it at four by five and a quarter. And I hope you are doing well. I hope you are um, enjoying your summer and getting some crafting done. I know for a lot of people, craft, uh, summer is not a crafting time for them. Anytime is crafting time for me. Oops. And so I am... Well, I live in Central Florida, so it's hot. So I and I'm not a really outdoors person anyhow, unless I'm at the beach. That's my favorite place to be. And so if I'm at home, I'm usually in the house in the air conditioning crafting. <laughs> all right, so we go that's all the cutting we need to do. And so I am going to, I am definitely going to play some music while I put these cards together because if you're familiar with my channel, you know that my um, tape gun squeaks and squeaks really bad. So um, uh, the other item I'm going to use is this... Um, punch from Stampin Up. It's a dual banner punch, so I'll be using that. You'll see me use that when I um, go to put my little cards together. All righty. Uh-oh. I did something wrong. I cut, I did that same thing yesterday. I cut two of my cards wrong. Okay, I'm just going to put two cards together with you. I, I cut two of my cardstock pieces wrong yesterday. I don't know. I
I'll show you just in a minute what I am using. And this ink is beautiful. I know I'm probably off camera, I'm sorry. Okay. So I'm only gonna, cause this video is already getting too long. So I'm only gonna put the sentiment on one card. I'll go back and do the other one later and just show you how it looks. I'm gonna put it over top of there just a bit. So there's my peace and joy. And I am using some Delicata ink in Sapphire Blue. And it is kind of, kind of has a shimmer to it. So it, oh, it's just gorgeous. So there's my two cards that I made with you today. And then I'll do those two tags with the rest. And so that is my project today. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I seem to always have technical, not tech difficulties of some kind. And that's just me. <laughs> and so um, I hope you'll bear with me and you'll come back and watch me each week, each day this week. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.